do you have like rules that you've all agreed on kind of thing? Do you have that kind of decision making where you're setting boundaries and, and figuring things out together? Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of thing we would also talk about in meeting. Mm -hmm. Like there's a really common rule, like stop. Like if someone mm -hmm. says stop to you, like you're doing something to someone and someone says stop, you have to stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's like an example of Only some of the rules that we make. Huh? Only reasonable rules. Like yeah, mostly like like agreement. You have to line up outside whenever you're cold or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. more, yeah, like rules like to keep everyone happy and like, yeah, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Right on. One of the things that a lot of people are dealing with around the world are like you, you obviously have some kind of computers available. What's the relationship to screens like devices or computers or wh how is that handled? Like, do we have any screen time limits or no. are you allowed to no. use your own stuff? No, I wouldn't say we have a lot of screen time limits. Like if someone wants to sit there on their phone and sometimes they just don't want to communicate. Mm -hmm. um, but if you ask them, do you want to come join us in something? Or mm -hmm. if they want to ask someone if they want to do something, then you can check out. But I think most people talk a lot of the time. Yeah. <laughs> I think the only limits we have on phones is that only the one rule where you can't take it into the bathroom mm -hmm. um, because there was often times where people would just sit on in the toilets or whatever in the bathrooms yeah. just on their phone so just to stop like the hold up of people that's the only one the, the only rule we implemented with the restriction <laughs> of devices yeah that's right the on. only one right really. on. There is one more, but I think it just doesn't come up. So people sort of forget about it, which is that you're completely responsible for whatever content other people are exposed to through lyrics uh, or uh, visuals that if you're going to be viewing or listening to something inappropriate, then you need to do so completely privately. But it just mm. doesn't seem to come up because I think people are generally pretty reasonable with what they're um, using mm. on their phones. Right, right. And yeah, it, I, I love saying... To, to other staff, we often smile to each other. We stand there on the patio looking at all this activity on the lawn and up the tree and in the bush making clubhouses. And we say, we just love how these kids are using their unlimited screen time. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.